Now, pay attention, 007. I want you to take great care of this equipment. And you might be... Bond. James Bond. Satellite reconnaissance shows the fortress to be patrolled by armed guards. You'll note, 007, that the Stinger missile is the only way to neutralize airborne attacks. For the sake of the car, 007, return fire! Pressure 007. Well, it seems we've cleared customs, Sheriff. Uh, thank you, Mr. Bond. Call me James. What is it? We've got company. I had a few optional extras installed for just such occasions. Let's give our guest a slip, shall we? Hold on.
Love a drive in the country, don't you? Have a seat, 007. Good work on the light operation. Thank you, ma'am. 007, upon your return, a new crisis has arisen. We are facing a major threat to global stability. In the last decade, NATO, particularly Great Britain and the United States, have been attempting to level the playing field for member nations by forming a limited technology pool. This shared resource would improve the defensive capabilities of these countries and perhaps demonstrate to certain rogue factions the levels of technical innovation we possess. Two days ago, a freighter covertly bound for a port in Halifax, Canada, was intercepted off the southern coast of Greenland in the Labrador Sea. All field agents, NATO representatives and crew were eliminated with military precision, and the shipment was removed from the vessel. Someone was obviously tipped off to the freighter's location. What was her cargo? Laser-guided surface-to-air missile systems, long-range missile shields, specifications and blueprints, next-generation GPS tracking and triangulation technology. Combined, these items could give the smallest rogue faction the framework for an intercontinental ballistic missile program. But the raid on the ship would imply the involvement of something more than a rogue faction. And if it was the work of an established power, these technologies would already be within their grasp. Was anything else taken? Yes. A Q Branch automobile was part of the shipment. Was there anything groundbreaking about the technologies integrated with the car? Guidance systems, autopilot programs, advanced short-range weaponry, signature masking systems for heat and carbon exhaust. Why do you ask? Why take the car, considering everything else on board? It's just a hunch, but... 007, your hunches are cause for sleepless nights here at MI6. But for now, I need you to be with your old friend from the CIA, Jack Wade. Wonderful. I haven't been called Jimmy in years. You will meet with Mr. Wade and investigate a possible report of the hijacked shipment arriving at a port in New York City. Moneypenny has made arrangements for your immediate departure. The balance of global power appears to be in jeopardy, 007. Good luck. Welcome to New York, Mr. Bond. I've taken the liberty to include a welcome gift with your car to ensure... 007, our satellite reconnaissance has established a location where it is safe to jettison your vehicle and the bomb. Jack Wade and the CIA have marked a route to your destination and have placed frequency distortion transmitters at specific intervals, each of which will confuse the bomb's detonation device for a brief period, gaining you valuable seconds. Good luck, 007. Need I remind you the clock is ticking, 007? You're only delaying the inevitable, Mr. Bond. Demise is imminent, Mr. Bob. How does it feel?
driving here is not like England. People aren't so polite. Careful, hot shot. I don't want to be digging your grave. You're cutting in awfully close to the wire, 007. It's a good thing I asked for the water damage waiver. Well, that was a splashing success.